What is going on guys and girls? How are you doing today? It's Angry Roleplay today. I'm a little bit sick. I got a call uh, several days ago, but I want to go over the new uh, Asana series box with you guys so we can check my thoughts on the meta because we already got uh, four Asana C, Chieftain, Gladiator, Slayer, as well as the Berserker. So it's about uh, f four already, and uh, I think that we will see the champion pretty soon as well. So I want to start with the Chieftain. I will do a really short videos about the overview of the new changes for every Ascendancy out there. So what is Chieftain about? Chieftain uh, was always kind of a very solid fighter. He was all about fire damage and playing with totems like the Ancestral Warchief or Ancestral Protector. It also was a super popular class uh, using with Ngamahu's Flame Axe and going Cyclone with uh, different ascendancies taking fire damage and all that shit. He was also a, a very good defensive character, uh, defensive ascendancy class as well. But he was not really there in terms of sustain uh, if we are talking in comparison to the Jagged Out. He was not quite there because most people still prefer Jagged Out for the tankiness. But let's take a look at the new improved Chieftain. So what we got, uh, what we got here is a completely new ascendancy node called uh, Valako Storm's Embrace. Uh, 0 0.5 max life regenerated per second per endurance charge. It makes him an incredibly tanky. It's pretty much like Calm's Way. A ring, guys, almost like this. And 3% more damage per for each endurance charge lost recently up to 15%. So basically it has, actually is a very good uh, for a, like Immortal Call characters as well as... Um, uh, also synergizes really good with Tectonic Slam actually because with Tectonic Slam you constantly uh, sorry you constantly lose charges so um, you can get about you can you lose five charges and get 50% increased damage unfortunately ah this more damage is not increased damage guys it's more damage now that's pretty interesting guys 15% more damage that's pretty crazy. And the most important and strongest thing is probably uh, the Max Endurance Charges. This is very very powerful and uh, I think it's literally like the only class. I may be mistaken but uh, there is no other Max Endurance Charges out there on any other classes including the Jack. And previously it was possible to get 10 Endurance Charges with the uh, Corrupted uh, Boots and or Synthesized Boots in the Synthesis League but now with the Chieftain, it is possible to get 11 endurance charges. This is absolutely sick for uh, the Tectonic Slam, and I have a feeling that uh, this character might potentially be even uh, kind of synergizing better with my Tectonic Slam build that I have right now. All right, so minor notes: uh, life regeneration per second, 50% increase endurance charge duration, so endurance charges last longer. Now, overall, there was like a big reshuffle of different skills from here to there. Uh, removed totems armor, as well as uh, chance to turn on hit for the totems, but. Uh, this is it. 50% uh, increased effect of buffs granted by your active and casted totem. So basically, uh, this is more melee damage as well as more attack speed. I think this is a strong buff to any self attacking character like the Cyclone, for example, in Gamako's Flame. This is pretty damn strong. You basically get more attack speed from the Encastral Protect now. And Caster Totem have a 100% increased activation range. And 25% increase area effect while having a totem. Holy shit, that's a lot. Alright. Uh, Tauhoa Forest Strength. 35% chance to gain an energy chest when you use a fire skill. That's insane. Holy shit, this is like very fluent uh, endurance charge generation, guys. That was actually what Chieftain was lacking. The reason uh, why I... Jagging out would mostly prefer over Chieftain is that it was kind of lacking power uh, endurance charge generation. It was not as fast as the Jagging out. But with this thing, I think it all changes. Like one, one and a three makes you insanely tanky. Insanely tanky, guys. Like, like fist stacking, insane tan tankiness over there. All right. Uh, took a hammer was Herald, it was always a totem thing. Reflecting is useless. Uh, ton on hit is fucking useless anyway, okay. 
Uh, Tassale or cleansing water, another partially new node. First, first, first of all, it's 2% life region now, uh, comparing to the old one, and there's a new one. Increase life recovery rate if you've taken 5 damage from an enemy hit recently, so it make you insanely... Insane fucking region tank against some fire bosses out there. This is very interesting synergy. I like this. I like this. And another thing why a uh, chieftain was so fucking great is because it has innate 100% fire resistance. It makes you incredibly good for the riders' fire builds uh, early on because our. Uh, the more fire resistance you have, the less you degenerate as a Riders Fire character, and this is incredibly, uh, incredibly cool thing. I think this is practically, you know, uh, just fantastic thing. This is this makes you incredibly tanky against fire bosses too. All right. Uh, what else? Ramako Sunlight Rework Knot, twenty-five percent chance to ignite. All right. 25 percent, uh, 15 percent more burning, more burning damage. This isn't a multiply as well. I haven't noticed this. More burning damage. It's a Riders Fire thing over here, guys. Uh, damage penetrates 15 percent fire res. Huh. All right. This so tw the, t the 12 moved to the eight, and uh, this this is like a new revoke node over there. It's pretty silly. And look at this, Hinikora's Death Fury. 20 percent chance to cover rare. I mean, you can mean ash for 10 seconds in here, and covering in ash is also very powerful too. Uh, they 20% uh, less movement speed and 20% increase fire damage taken last four seconds. This is very very powerful. It makes it uh, once again, guys, stronger uh, for the uh, cyclone build very very much. It's very it's very powerful with the cyclone and Gamaho's flame a cyclone build definitely. And the last thing is Gamaho's flame advance. The old was 70%, every 10 seconds gain a 50% of physical damage. Uh, now it's from 70 to 100 physical uh, damage as extra fire, so it's a buff. 30% more fizz as extra fire. Overall, there's just absolutely all buffs there. There's all buffs here, guys. So basically, they get rid of um, some uh, stupid... Uh, Totem Taunts and uh, Totem uh, Reflect, which is pretty much shit, alright, but you got so much everything, plus one Endron Chest, silly amount of 15% more damage per Endron Chest, that's 15% more damage, then it's 15% more burning damage for the Riders fire, that's insane, and 25% chance to ignite practically means yeah, you didn't need to take chance to ignite anywhere on your gear, this is already a super solid chance to ignite with practically any fire skills you're gonna use on your chieftain. And 20% chance to cover a very unique enemy in uh, Ash is also a big boost. Literally double this to make it very viable against uh, the bosses. I think this is absolutely insane. Along with this, 25% chance increase area of effect while I have taught him. This is insane against single target once again when you get this crazy badass cyclone Gamahos flame shit going on when you place the totem and you can cyclone and destroy all the shit around. Overall uh, I am very happy with the chieftain. I think it got 10k, plenty of flight regeneration and I'm actually itch itching and scratching to try this out. I think this is absolute pock champ. I think this is very good and I can't wait to try the chieftain. I haven't played chieftain in a long long time guys. So nothing but the buffs here. Thanks for watching and see you soon. First of all, I would like to thank you very much for watching the video. Your likes and dislikes, especially as they push me forward even more. If you want to see more content, please consider subscribing to the channel. I do daily uploads of role-playing content, Bennett builds, guides, let's play, stream highlights and upcoming RPG games. Also, don't forget to follow my Twitch stream to catch me live in action. I do stream daily on walking days. I'm a full-time YouTube content creator and a Twitch streamer too, so if you want to support me, you can do it either from Twitch or by PayPal directly from my website angryroleplayer.com. Join my Discord channel too for a place to discuss RPG things offline as well as follow my Twitter to be notified on any new content. If you want to get extra information like sneak peeks into upcoming videos, plans, different behind-the-scenes footage, you can also join on Holy Army on Patreon as well, guys. Thank you very much once again for watching and listening to all this. See you soon.